Hi boys and girls, today I'm going to read chapter 2 of Shaquille O'Neal's book, Little Shaq Takes a Chance. Chapter 2 is titled, In the Paint. At school the next day after recess, Little Shaq's teacher, Miss Terrapenny, set up two tables of art supplies. There were watercolor paints, crayons, colored pencils, and markers. She had also laid out paintbrushes, construction paper, and big slabs of clay. Little Shaq took one look at the art supplies and went straight to his seat. Let's get started, class, said Ms. Terrapenny. The art project you made this week will be displayed at the rec center as part of the school's spring art show. The whole room cheered, except for Little Shaq. The theme for this year's show is what we love, Ms. Terrapenny continued. So your project should represent something that you care about. Barry raised his hand. Can it be about our family, he asked. Absolutely, said Ms. Terrapenny. What about our pets, Little Shaq's friend Rosa, Rosa Lindy asked. Little Shaq listened as his classmates shouted out more questions. Okay, settle down, Ms. Terrapenny said. Remember to wait until you're called upon. Walter Skipple raised his hand. Yes, Walter, she said. Does our favorite color count, he asked. Sure, she said, be creative. Now let's make some art. Barry quickly grabbed a set of watercolor paints and a paintbrush. Little Shaq shook his head. Painting seemed hard. Next to him, Rosa took a pack of markers and a handful of colored pencils. Little Shaq shook his head again. He didn't know what to choose. Then he spied the crayons. Sometimes Tater made Little Shaq color with him. Little Shaq knew how to use crayons. He breathed a sigh of relief. Maybe this wouldn't be so bad. Back at the table, Little Shaq took out an orange crayon and drew a big circle. Then he colored it in. Rosa leaned over. I didn't know you loved oranges. I don't, said Little Shaq. It's a basketball. Oh, said Rosa, now I see it. Look at mine, said Aubrey Skipple. Walter's twin sister had sketched a picture of their dog, Monty. No way, said Rosa. I'm doing a portrait of my cat, Mittens. This is going to be so great for my newspaper article, said Aubrey. You're what? asked Little Shaq. I'm covering the art show for the Parkview Gazette, she said. My mom is letting me borrow her camera and everything. Little Shaq glanced down at his drawing. Rosa was right. It did look like an orange. There was no way his art was good enough for the school newspaper. Little Shaq crumpled up his drawing and marched back to the supply tables. What are you looking for? Miss Terrapenny asked. I don't know, said Little Shaq. My picture didn't turn out so great. Why don't you give the watercolors a shot? She suggested. No, thanks, he said. I don't like painting. Miss Terrapenny raised her eyebrows. Have you ever tried it? Little Shaq thought for a moment. No, he admitted. Miss Terrapenny handed him a set of paints. If you don't like it, you can always try something else. Okay, she said. Little Shaq nodded. Great, she said. Let's keep an open mind today. That's what my mom always says, he replied. She's a smart lady, said Miss Terrapenny. Little Shaq filled a plastic cup with water and started mixing the colors. Want any help, asked Rosa. Sure, he said. I don't really know what to do. Here, let's practice together, Rosa replied. Rosa dipped a paintbrush into the purple paint and swirled the brush on the paper. She painted three squiggly lines. Now you try, she said. Little Shaq gulped and picked up the paintbrush. He tried to do what Rosa had just showed him. First dip the paintbrush, then squiggle, he said quietly. Little Shaq painted three more lines on the paper. There, you got the hang of it, said Rosa. Little Shaq smiled and went to work. Using the black paint, he drew a large rectangle. Then he added a smaller rectangle inside. It's a backboard, Rosa said. Yep, I'm going to call this painting slam dunk. It's not done yet though, Little Shack, said Little Shack. I need to add a rim. 
With the orange watercolor paint, Little Shack made a circle beneath the small rectangle. Hmm, he mumbled. That doesn't look like a rim. It's too flat. Little Shack sighed and put down his paintbrush. He glanced over at his friends. Rosa was using markers to make lots of little dots on the page, and Walter had painted two large squares in different shades of red and orange. Little Shack never knew his friends were such good artists. He didn't think anybody would want to look at his painting. He put his elbows on the table and buried his head in his hands. The art show was only a few days away. What was Little Shack going to do? Oh, Little Shack, said Rosa. You're painting, huh? He looked up. He put his elbows right on top of the wet paint. Little Shack closed his eyes tight. His painting was ruined. We can fix this, said Rosa. Forget it, Little Shack said, standing up. I'm not making anything. After school, Little Shack went to the rec center. He couldn't wait to play basketball. At the sound of Coach McKinnon's whistle, Little Shack, at the sound of Coach McKinnon's whistle, Little Shack ran down the court. I'm open, he yelled. Walter passed him the ball. Go for three, Little Shack. Little Shack dribbled to the basketball, dribbled the basketball up and down. He looked at the rim and he thought about his painting. Little Shack couldn't get art class off of his mind. Pass it, shouted Barry. Little Shack threw the ball to Barry, who scored an easy layup. At the next timeout, Little Shack took a seat on the bench. Rosa climbed down from the bleachers. What's wrong, Little Shack? She asked. I'm worried about my project for the art show, he told her. So you're not a painter, she said. Big deal. Easy for you to say, he replied. Your project is really good. Yours will be too, said Rosa. Try the clay tomorrow. I bet you're a natural sculptor. You really think so, he asked. Rosa nodded as Coach Mackinnons blew the whistle. Tweet! The next day, Miss Terpenny passed out the class art projects. Little Shack looked down at his smeared painting and then up at the slab of clay. He was ready to give it a try. Little Shack took the clay and rolled it back and forth in his hands, making a ball. The clay felt cool and smooth against his fingers. Suddenly, he had an idea. He didn't just love basketball. He loved playing it. Little Shack knew exactly what he was going to make. For the rest of the week, Little Shack worked on his sculpture every chance he got. At the end of each day, he covered it in cloth so no one could see it. On Thursday afternoon, Miss Terrapenny asked everyone to turn in their final projects. Little Shack took a deep breath and handed his in. So was I right about the clay, asked Rosa. Little Shack smiled. We'll see, he answered.